you know, for me, a big part of being part of the community is like in a leadership position as the chair of the department, setting a real standard for what I think of as acceptable behavior for the LGBT community, for students of color, for first generation students, where faculty have as front of mind um, not some abstract student who they're interacting with, but a realization that there are real conditions of difference uh, among the student body and that some of our student body has been homeless because they've been kicked out um, from their homes by their family and they don't have places to go back to. Um, that uh, making assumptions about uh, pronouns can really be invalidating to somebody's identity. And so, you know, pushing the faculty to recognize that and be open with it. And so, you know, a lot of the things I've done as chair, for example, is to send around teaching materials about, you know, um, how to practice with pronouns for people who, for whom it's actually a really foreign and difficult experience. Um, and so I would say a lot of what I've done here at Columbia has not been, I mean, I'm out in my classes and things like that uh, from, teaching, from a teaching perspective, but as the director of graduate studies and then as the chair of the department, um, to make sure that people recognize that this is something that's important that they have to do and that um, students have very different educational experiences depending on whether or not they feel seen and respected by their colleagues in the classroom and by their faculty. And um, that, you know, to create an equitable learning experience for people means that everyone has to feel like not just their positions, but their identities are fundamentally respected by the organization and the individuals that uh, make that organization um, run on an everyday basis.